Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Data Hub Vertica plugin and new features that we added for Vertica objects and that are going to be supported in Data Hub. Data Hub is an open source metadata platform for the modern data stack. We integrated Data Hub and Vertica using the new certified ingestion plugin. With this integration, you can now take advantage of Vertica and ingest metadata information for ML models, OAuth, and Vertica Yarn model. Vertical Data Hub plugin code is available in the GitHub repository and some of the main features that we added in this plugin improved UI based data ingestion, support table projection and view lineage, support for ML models, support UDX metadata, support Eon mode metadata. You can ingest data into Data Hub uh, using command line interface or Data Hub GUI. In this example, I will show you the steps to ingest data from command line interface. Open Linux server mission which you want to install Data Hub. We already installed Data Hub and let's confirm this by checking Data Hub version. Now we need to install Data Hub Vertica plugin. Run the command. This command will automatically install the Vertica Python driver and Vertica SQL Alchemy dialect. After installation, go to this directory. You need to create an AML file and uh, add Vertica source details. Let's create that. In this, you need to add the Vertica source details like a host port, database name, the username and the password of the DB. And you can set the config options for Data Hub. And uh, uh, in, in tables, views, projections, auth, models, view lineage and the projection lineage. By default, these all values are set to true. If you don't want to see any of these uh, values and uh, if uh, any of these metadata and then you can set it to false once you are set with the ml file let's start uh, the ingestion by running this command data hub ingest i fancy and the file name that you created once this is done go to the browser enter the url and login using uh, Data Hub credentials. As I told previously, uh, we can do GUI ingestion also. For that, uh, click ingestion and uh, click uh, create new source. Now select Vertica and uh, enter your credential, Vertica credentials, and then click next and then click finish. Once this is done, let's go to the home page uh, to check the metadata and the new features that we have for the plugin. From platforms, click Vertica. You can see uh, the list of available schemas in the database. You can click on any of the database name and uh, I'm going to click the uh, BMA database and uh, we can see uh, uh, the database properties here and you can click on the properties and you can see all the metadata such as uh, cluster type and the size and related to the database if the cluster type is uh, enterprise uh, then the communal storage path in the subcluster details would be empty similarly you can click on any of the schemas to see its properties i'm going to click on the public schema uh, to see its properties and uh, you can check all the properties like user defined functions and the user defined languages and then you can do the same for the table as well as um, you can see for the projections and then views also and uh, for table uh, if you want to check any of the table click on any of the table name i'm going to click the employee dimension table and you can see all the columns listed here you can see the stats related to that uh, table and the rows co size column size and everything and then the properties of that table and then you have we have the lineage we have both upstream lineage and the downstream lineage for projections and views and uh, i will show you the example of lineage which contains both upstream and downstream and uh, we can edit the lineage also uh, for that uh, first i will visualize the lineage and uh, here you can see the lineage of this table You can see so full details and all the details of the table also here and then um, uh, we can edit the lineage for that uh, click edit and uh, click downstream and uh, once you click the edit uh, upstream or downstream a model will open that allows you to manage lineage uh, for the selected entity in the chosen direction in order to add a lineage edge to the new entity search for it by name in the provided search bar and select it and uh, 
for that you need to select it here uh, if you want to add this add here select it and add and you can remove a uh, lineage edges from the same model uh, use it add uh, use it to add lineage edges find the edges that you want to remove and click the uh, x on the right side um, to save and uh, uh, you need to click save changes to save if you exit without saving your changes won't be applied you can see the updated lineage here and then uh, you can see the same properties for uh, uh, projections i will show you the example of the projection you can see all the properties for projections like projection type and everything here and uh, we now support uh, ML models. Uh, you can see the ML models uh, name here and you can click on any of the ML model to see its properties. We have the model name, model attributes and model specifications and the model used by here. We, uh, also we support the OAuth related metadata. So we have uh, uh, we also supported uh, deleted entities uh, during ingestion this staple ingestion will allow you to determine any objects that were deleted with respect to the previous ingestion you can download this project along with the documentation from github page thank you for watching